¿Qué te dijo ahorita? Que ya me van a tener que poner el, el aparato en el pecho para las transfusiones y es lo que no quiero. Pero... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a quite while since I have vlogged a vlog. So today I am having a doctor's appointment, which I just got here to the clinic. And the reason for this appointment is because if you have or you haven't, um, no, I do have black fan diamond anemia which is um i get blood transfusion monthly so the reason why my doctors gave me this appointment was for one of the specialists to talk to me about probably placing a patch on me really soon i really don't know when and also because since I do get a lot of blood transfusions, my veins from my arms, they are already kind of giving up on the IVs. There are times where they had to poke me to find my veins like four to six times. And I end up leaving the hospital with a lot of band-aids and so many other stuff because of how bad they cannot find my veins no more since I do have scar tissues already inside my veins from so many years of having blood transfusion so this is the reason why I'm having this appointment and I do have a video talking about my medical problem I will link it down below in the description that way y'all can go ahead and watch it as well 
but today I did decided to vlog a little bit since I was coming to my a doctor's appointment so I'm like you know what let me go ahead and vlog a little bit of this process that I'm probably gonna be going through for the procedure probably soon maybe in a couple of months or a year from now I really don't know but I am gonna be bringing y'all along with me for this appointment hopefully the doctor does let me record but if not I will give you a update after I am out of my doctor's appointment so I will see you in a little bit to talk about possible port for transfusions yes, because of your diamond black fan anemia mm -hmm. and then we've started having issues with excess yes which like, happens a lot yes it's already starting to a point where they had to poke me like more than four times where oh. it's like three on this hand and then three on this hand so it's like either to four to six times I end up getting poked or I'm sure or the I or the veins get kind of bloated already mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so I already know like like here like you can see a little bit of the bruise already yes. and then over here too so it's yes. like you know. um I do think that for someone like you it is a good idea to try to use a port for a little while at least okay um yeah. You know, for someone like you that has this anemia, transfusions are something that we're probably going to deal with for a long time. Yeah. Okay, let me just ask a few questions about your history. Okay. So I know about the anemia. You've had some kidney stones in the past. Yes. Okay. Um, what surgeries have you had? I saw on your... Um, so um, I had the thumbs, mm -hmm. uh, my clip palate. Okay. And then I also had a G2. Okay. And then what else? And then the red light, normal like endoscopies and stuff oh, like okay. that. And my kidney stones removal. Okay. And stuff like that. Okay, but nothing on your chest? No. Okay. Do you mind if I take a look just at your upper chest? Well, basically the port goes right underneath your collarbone. So here's your collarbone here and you would feel a little kind of a circle about this big that is the port. Okay. And then there's a catheter that connects to that that goes into a big vein that's underneath the collarbone. Okay. So whenever I'm all finished, you would have an incision about this big, and that's really just to get the port underneath your skin. Okay. You won't be able to touch the port itself. You'll just be able to feel it under the skin. Okay. And then I would close it up with dissolvable sutures and put skin glue on top of there. Now, the recovery is really pretty easy and straightforward. There's minimal pain. I mean, there will be some because I have to cut open that spot, yeah. but I put lots of local anesthesia. Yeah. So basically I would access, it's called the subclavian vein and it goes right underneath that collarbone and then put the port right underneath that. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. All right, any questions? I mean, yeah, kind of, but it's like, oh, like I don't know if I should go for it because mm -hmm. I know my veins. But it's like, at the same time, it's like, I really didn't want to get to this point where mm -hmm. I, I need I need it. Because I'm like, yeah, like, as growing up, like, I've been through so much. Like, right. I'm like, no, I'm never going to get it, like, this and that. But now that I'm in this situation where, like, my veins already getting scar tissue, like, they struggle a lot. Like, back then, they will be easy. But now it's like, I really need to think about it. Like, if I really want it or just wait until my veins really give up on me already or like what's the best and and you're so young it is really tough to decide something like this but i i will say that everyone that gets a port for the most part feels like it's a very minimal thing yeah that it's not it's not a lot of pain and it just it can just kind of live there and so I definitely understand the apprehension, but I think it's something that's pretty straightforward mm -hmm. that can give your arms a break in terms of the blood vessels um, to where then it's it's easy. Yes, yeah, because like my whole life, like, yeah, like there was like, I know there's gonna be a point mm -hmm. where I'm gonna need it, but it's like, since like I grew up with a G-tube in my stomach, I'm like, so and then after they removed I'm like I was relieved and I'm like oh, okay like I'm not gonna have nothing no more and then after a while it's like I I I will always tell my mom like 
oh, I don't think I'm ever gonna get that far. Like, you know, like, cause I was hitting other people. And I'm like, no, I don't think so. And I'm like, if I had gone through so much with my veins, I know they're not gonna give up now, but now that they are, it's like, damn, like, now it's like, it comes to my mind, I'm like, and there are days where I've been down, cause I'm like, I really didn't want it to happen. But I know that deep down inside me, I knew what's gonna happen like sooner or later. But I was like, no, I'm not gonna Hope think about it, think yeah. about it. But now, like when, but when Doctor Escavier asked me about a couple of weeks ago, she's like, how's everything? I'm like, good. And then I told her about my veins, and then she's like, I was hoping not to hear what I wanted to hear from her, but she's like, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to put a order for this. Is that gonna be that time for a I know it's so hard know, to decide, it's, it's hard to but decide. I really do recommend it for somebody like you. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put it in order to start working on getting it scheduled. Okay. Um, yeah, I just have to go home and think about it. Yeah. Now I just have to go and talk to my mom and dad. I really thought this appointment was going to go good, pretty much. E todo. But no, it didn't go the way I wanted. Um, I do have a medical problem called black fat diamond anemia, which is um, I get blood transfusion monthly. So the appointment that I just had right now is because I'm probably going to have to get a port, which is like a patch. Um, that they had to put on my chest for blood transfusions pretty much and I was hoping not to ever get it but it already came to the point where I do have to have it and it hurts me it really does hurt me because I didn't want to go through it because my whole life for 29 years I've been going through it a lot, a lot, where I had a G-tube in my stomach for 13 years, and for now, for me to get a patch to receive blood transfusions, me duele mucho. It does, like, I do want to cry, because I've been going through so much that I just wish... I don't have to no more but I was born this way I feel good and all that but deep inside me is where all my medical condition is pretty much so my camera battery died so I had to switch it to my phone I really don't know what to decide if I should get it if I should not I really don't know it's a hard decision for me but I know that at the same time I have to get it for the best for my life, you know? Because since I do receive a lot of fusions, a lot, yeah, mis veins there are slowly giving up on me, you know, like to get IVs. So I really don't know, like, Knowing that I have to have that patch, it hurts me because even though it's going to be like somewhere right here or like over here, I don't know, like on the middle of the napone. But it's really hard because inside me and in my head, I feel like I'm not going to look pretty. Which I know is going to be inside my skin. But knowing that I'm going to have it. It's like. Damn. Am I going to look pretty with, with it? Or I shouldn't get it. You know. But I really don't know what to do no more. Like, I know that sooner or later I have to. I had to get it, that's for sure. But I really didn't thought the time of it was gonna get here really soon. Like I would see it in other people, but 
just how I was telling the doctor, like, I would always tell my mom, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Because I know my veins are going to last forever. Like, for me to get blood transfusion, since I have received blood transfusion till this day, I know I can continue, like, getting IVs. But, no, ya llegó el día where I have to have that patch on me. So now I had to go home, talk to my parents, know their decision también on it, which I know I'm gonna break that with them. I know I'm not the only one that goes through a lot. I know a lot of people go through so many things and you know, but it's like, damn, like I've been going through it since I was really small, like, pretty much since I was born. And I had to deal with it, you know, like, hasta el último día. But it hurts me, like, ahorita, like, quiero gritar, quiero llorar, me quiero desahogar, which I am. Yo sé que Diosito me mandó a este mundo por una razón and I'm still alive and I'm living my life I am like aunque sea a little bit and most of it is hospital appointment but I'm happy that I'm here I am but I know there's days where it's like why you know like why do I have to go through all this like I'm not saying that my medical condition is the worst because it's not like I know there's way worse medical condition out there todo. but like me going through what I go through I don't wish that on nobody even though it's just blood transfusions monthly but they poke you every single month. If it's not that, it's you ending up at the ER because of one thing. If it's not another thing, if not, it's another thing. Like It's a lot. And right now, I'm just going to be heading home. Talk to my mom about it. A ver, que dice ella también, you know? So, I will see you whenever I get home and talk to my mom about this situation that, you know, that I had to go through. So, see you in a little bit. Pero a lo mejor es bueno, mi atributo que es mejor porque. Pero yo nunca pero, quiero, yo nunca quise llegar a eso. Pero tú crees que ellos lo hacen por, por qué? Porque tú sabes que, que ya, ya también la también la carne se cansa, Meli, de tanto piquete. Ya te habían dicho de eso. Pídele a Dios y dale gracias a Dios que no es algo malo, 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 que es algo para ayudarte, no para perjudicarte. ¿Qué le vamos a hacer, madre? A ver, ¿qué le vamos a hacer? Dime. Doctora, es muy buena, amable, me dijo bien hasta ella. Me dijo, yo te entiendo. Dice, estás muy joven, dice. Pues sí, me dice, pero pues dice, ya que en esta dice, vida. Dice, hay, hay gente que las agarran ya como de 40, dice, pero yo sé que tú estás joven, dice, y para que tus venas tengan logrado hasta los 30 años, dice, es muy... Las de gane. Bueno, ya 29, ya 30. Ya es 30, pero ya están bien fregadas también. Dice, tus venas por dentro ya están todas... Sí, eh, pobrecita. Están nada más cicatrizado ya ya y lo dice y cuando te pican otra vez y tienen que abrir ese pedacito y si otra vez a cerrarse solo y se la otra vez te pican y se tú sabes que los tuyo es por vida y digo yo sé que lo mío ya es Ay, por vida y así la otra doctora me la mera doctora de la sangre me dijo y con ya es tiempo de que te pongan un eso y se ya Dice, para que ya, digo, casi los 30, dice, ya es para que casi te los pongan. Pues imagínate, Meli, 30 años que ya nos da el mismo trabajo, ya está. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? A ver, la sangre es la vida del cuerpo. Si no tienes sangre, no tienes vida. Pero no los quiero, yo lo que no quiero. Meli, tenemos que echarle ganas, mami. Hacerle... Several days later.
So ya pasaron varios días since I had my appointment with my specialist doctor about the port. So after I got home from the clinic, I did break down with my mom since I started talking to her about the conversation that I had with my doctor about the port. And after varios días of me thinking if I should get the port or not, because at the end of the day, I know that is something that I am gonna need regardless. Tomé una decisión. So, after talking to my whole family and also other nurses from the clinic, I ended up making the decision of the port. So, I am gonna be getting the port soon. My doctor already placed the order for my procedure and my procedure it is going to be on May 10th. At this point I feel like I did make the right decision which I know right now I'm okay with it but the day of the surgery I know it's going to hit different because I am going to be waking up with the port inside me. So they are going to be placing the port right here under my collarbone aquí en mi chest so i am gonna be putting a picture right here of how the port is gonna look on me from the inside and from the outside of my skin so me having this port it is gonna be a life change for me because i'm gonna have to live with it for a lifetime so I just hope it's gonna be the best for my treatments and for my veins to finally rest and you know like no more poking me for an IV which now all the IVs are gonna be going through my port at this point, I'm already tired. Ya estoy cansada of the nurses struggling to find the perfect pain for a good IV because they go through a lot to find them. And me duele, like, even though I try to be strong whenever they are trying to find a good pain like they go deep in like to find it and it hurts until I tell them like stop like you know like it's hurting me already for them to struggle every month for my treatment because for 29 years I've been going through this or every three to six months it just depends what type of appointment I have besides my blood transfusion. Sometimes I had to get blood work, me to get tested for a MRI or a endoscopy or other stuff because, because of my medical condition, I do go through mm, many medical issues. Sometimes I had to go to the ER whenever I get sick and they had to put IVs on me because Hace poquito, I did went into a endoscopy procedure, so they had to do an IV on me, and they struggled so much that they couldn't find the perfect vein for my IV that they had to go with a change of plan, and they ended up putting a IV on my neck for the procedure so after the doctor ended up putting the IV on my neck in that moment inside me I knew it was time 
for the port I knew that I made the right decision to go with getting the port because after 29 years they had never put an ID on my neck and this was the very first time so that's how I know that it's time for the port because if they struggle so much to find a good vein for my IV on my hands because where they were trying to find my veins for my IV It just looks like that needs another pulp, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna poke you anymore. That was the last pulp. See, it blow. If you see it, yeah, I it's because um, it was like giving back blood. So for them to take that step to do it through my neck, that I know it's time for it because I've been going through so much and a lot, like right here like right here i don't know if y'all can see it good like it's already bruised up and then right here i already have scar tissue from the inside and then right here they ended up also poking me to put an iv on me and then right here as well like right here this vein did blew up on them while trying to put the IV in and also like somewhere right here you can see the bruise from the inside already so and and also right here I already have scar tissues here and right here this little dots is from all the scars already from all the IVs that they had to put on me for my treatments so yes mucho of them poking me a lot but yeah I am gonna be getting a pour soon so just like I was telling you I just hope and pray that this pour that I am gonna be having for a lifetime is gonna go smooth and easy on me and for the best so this is pretty much it this will be the end of the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you on my next video bye